Here you can see normal motor control of the facial muscles. The lower face is controlled by the contralateral side of the brain, and the forehead is controlled by both sides of the brain. Now let's compare a stroke versus Bell palsy. In a stroke, the forehead is not paralyzed, and this is due to bilateral innervation of the frontalis muscle, which controls the forehead, and the orbicularis oculi, which causes the eye to squint closed. Even though one side of the brain is affected, the other side of the brain also provides innervation to these muscles. That is why a stroke will cause paralysis of the lower face, but not the forehead. In Bell palsy, or idiopathic facial nerve paralysis, the lesion is peripheral after the nerve fibers from both sides of the brain have already combined pathways. This is why Bell palsy causes paralysis of the entire side of the face, including the forehead. 